This quick video will provide you an overview of <clears throat> content areas in Blackboard and different ways you can organize course content. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using a default course shell, so it may not exactly match what you find in your course in Blackboard. Most courses have an area called content by default. Uh, it may also look something like this where it says course content, or it may say content with the examples modules, units, chapters, or weeks. This content area by default, um, it's just blank. It allows you to build in your items or files. So if you want to upload a PDF or a Word file, um, images, so if you have screenshots or other images that may help uh, convey information to your students, you can use that. Or if you'd like to share an external resource you can use web links. Um, let's see. So this is a content area. Um, you can add more of those using this. And you may ask why you would create other content areas. So it really depends on how you want to organize your course. So an example of that, I'll give you both looks. Um, this is just my class for an example. I can't say that this is the best model, but this is what works for me. I've created a content area and I've called it Unit 4. And within that content area, I've made smaller folders to help organize what my students are going to do from week to week. Um, if you don't like this look or this style of organization, a different approach might be to use um, the content areas as just the page for that week. Now, if you make a content area for each week, your course menu is going to get really long when you start adding all those weeks in. So if you can chunk your content into groups um, or units, that would be probably your best bet. So now let's go back to the default course shell. Um, we have the content area that's already here. We can use this menu icon to rename it. Um, so let's say, for example, if we wanted to say unit one, if we want to create additional content areas, we're going to use this plus button at the top left. And we'll choose content area. Uh, if you're ready for students to see it, you can select this box next to available to users. Or you can leave it unchecked if you want to build out your content and then make it available. Click the submit button and it's going to add that to the bottom of your course menu. So you'll just need to drag it up to the place where you'd like to keep it. So that's how you create content areas. Let's click into one of those and just t briefly talk about the two different tools to kind of organize um, the content. So you can build your content, and by content I mean upload files, embed videos, add your assignments directly in a content area like this. If you want to go with the model of breaking things down into weeks, what you'll end up using is build content and then a content folder. <clears throat> We'll take a quick look at that. So let's just say we name our week. We can use the text box to give any extra information if we want to. Um, so some instructors will use this space to kind of provide an overview of what's due or going to happen that week or what um, resources the students need to review. Um, when we're ready for them to see that folder, we want to make sure it's um, set to yes. It's going to do that by default. Um, so if you want to kind of take your time developing, you can select no, and that'll keep it hidden until you're ready. And then I also like to turn on tracking, which helps uh, me run a report later on where I can check to see if students are accessing the materials. And then be sure to click the submit button when you get finished. You'll notice that um, it says item is hidden from students, and that's because I did not select yes on the availability. So you can either edit the item or quickly just say make available. So the content folder, and that's what this looks like, is one way to organize content and it just uh, basically gives you another page where uh, content can scroll from top to bottom. Um, if you want to kind of force your students to go through uh, the content and resources in a sequ sequential way, what you'd want to do is use uh, the build content button to build a learning module. Um, let's see, same, same idea here. If you want to provide an overview, you can. Down below, it'll ask if you want to force them to go through. 
uh, things in a certain order or, or if you want to <clears throat> kind of let them move around using the table of contents. I try not to open in a new window just to kind of keep them in the same place in Blackboard. Uh, when you're ready, obviously, we want to make sure that they can see it and we can track the number of views. Lastly, where this differ difference, the difference here between a content folder and a learning module is uh, you can kind of <clears throat> uh, dis determine how the content's displayed. Um, I don't really like learning modules, that's a personal preference, but a lot of instructors like it because it uh, kind of creates shorter pages. There's not as much scrolling down through all the different items that are included for each week. Um, Either way, when you get finished, make sure you click the Submit button. It'll add it to the content area, and you can see that the icons are different. Um, the way, <coughs> excuse me, um, if we click into our learning module, we will be able to see that it kind of builds a table of contents. So for each item that we build, it'll fill out and students can depending on our options, click through that way and only look at one item at a time, or we can um, kind of force them to go through each item in the order that we add it to this module. Um, let's go back to uh, our content area. Oops, this is the blank one. Uh, again, so the gray box means that there's no content, and the white box with the line through it means that we've hidden it from students. So I need to go back to unit one. And we'll see that both um, the content folder and the learning module are there. If for some reason you get one of these in the wrong place or the wrong area, you can always uh, use the move option from the menu.